Okay, Annika, so I think today's as good a time as any to give you a bit of an update of where we're at with the uh, Vesta SAR rocket project. It's been three weeks since we've returned from Namibia from our first testing session down there with the new boat, the orange boat, Vesta SAR rocket 2. And uh, we're actually standing here in front of the original uh, Vesta SAR rocket 1. When we went down to Namibia this time, it, it certainly wasn't for a record attempt. We had to find our feet. It was a brand new boat and a very innovative boat. And we really had to learn to walk again. And from a design perspective, you, you can design and theorize and do all your computer modeling you like. But until you actually see things happen for real in the flesh, you don't feel you really understand the nature of the problem. Because every 10 knots is a significant stepping stone, and you always find something new. First you see if you can get over the low speed hump and get the boat up and planing. Next, you go and uh, you, know, you start to see how the boat starts to behave as it goes faster and see if it can, and start to learn about the transition it makes as it goes to 20, 30 and 40 knots. I'm pretty sure that this boat we've got here, once it's doing 50 knots, will go on and do 60 knots and perhaps above. The boat is very awkward at low speed. We found that a lot of the systems we, uh, that we built into the boat to help us get going from, from stationary weren't actually going to be necessary, so we could dump a lot of weight and complication. On the other hand, we used a couple of those uh, designs that we built in to actually help us get started, and they made a big difference. The boat went from a peak speed of about six knots to a peak speed of over 40 knots in three days. We went 10, 20, 30, 40 knots, uh, day after day after day. The real secret though is how we're going to use this, uh, how we're going to get this wedge foil to work, this foil that's designed to work in a ventilated manner. The first time I used that, that it was the same day we did 40 knots, and we straight away took the uh, other foil off. I was pretty confident we could get that boat up over 50 knots quite quickly. But the real issue, making this uh, ventilated, this wedge-shaped uh, foil work, was what we were really down there to see. And it's what the new boat's all about. So uh, the first time I took it out onto the course, uh, surprisingly, she, she got up over the, over the first hump. The boat got up and planing. And as I got in close to the beach, I turned away and, and pointed it down the course. Even this boat behind me at this stage would be doing 50 knots in the wind we were doing. And, uh, but with that foil, it felt like I just drove into sand. The whole boat just dragged along, dragged along, and, and eventually uh, slowed, slowed right down as if I was dragging a drogue out the back and came to a stop. So uh, basically, we had to go back and scratch our heads again. And we didn't get many other chances due to the weather to, to take that uh, foil out and give it a really good shot. We saw that the boat is a fantastic platform. It, it's, a, it's a brilliant laboratory uh, tool to enable us to develop these foils. Very stable. Driving it is like driving a rib. This thing behind me was a wild ride. And funny enough, the other day I, went, I was fortunate enough to go out with our good friends on uh, Hydroptera and they made around the island, we're standing on the Isle of Wight now, they made around the island uh, world record attempt in some very windy conditions and pushed that boat really hard, uh, surprisingly hard. In fact, here's a video. Right, I hope you enjoyed that video. There's um, some very good stuffing action there and we didn't get the record because it was too rough. Up to 35 knots southerly wind blowing into St. Catharines where all the nose diving action was happening. 
but uh, what I was very impressed with was how well they sailed or how hard they sailed that boat in rough conditions. I think right now we're right where we want to be and the wind will be blowing September, October, November, December and September we're back in action and we're, uh, we're gunning for 60.